We're here. Try to keep your back in the natural S bend. Don't let it sag. Whoa! If it sags, then you can lose the ball. Hey guys, thanks for showing up. In this video, we're going to talk more about ab progressions, but this time we're going to use a stability ball. Dr. Stuart McGill, world-renowned back uh, rehab guy and back strength guy, talks about your spine and your core not being used to create movement, but being used to resist movement. Go do a, do a YouTube search, Stuart McGill, find out uh, the stuff from the best guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take his, his uh, studies and we're going to translate them into um, functional activities. See the stability ball, how it has freedom of movement, it moves around? Imagine my hand. My hand is now creating movement to hit this ball around. Now, if I were to carefully position my hands around it, now my hands are acting to resist the movement of this ball. So, imagine what your back, what your core muscles are doing. This is creating movement, which would be like side bends and flexion and, and extension and all that stuff. This would be resisting movement, stabilizing, which is what your core is supposed to do. And so that's what we're going to do. This ball is going to have a bit of a mind of its own. It's going to wander around, and our core muscles are going to use to stabilize this ball and not let it move around. So the first move that Stuart McGill talks about is stirring the pot. What you can do is get into a four-point stance. I prefer you to watch his video. He'll be able to explain it better, but I'm just going to give you a brief uh, little synopsis of what his move is. You're here, you're in a four-point stance, and all you're doing is you're stirring the pot with your elbows and your entire core <clears throat> I, my voice went up there because I was exerting myself what your core is doing is it's having to balance itself while this ball is sort of moving around on its own you want another progression we're gonna step it up we're gonna put this ball at our feet we're gonna create a plank stance with our hands and we're going to get up on the plank ball like this and we're here and so see what's happening this ball is going to have a mind of its own. And my feet and my core have to work together to stabilize that ball from moving around. And now, once you get pretty stable with this, what you can do is play little games with yourself. Just toss it a bit to the right, and then use your core to stabilize it and bring it back to normal. Okay? A nice wide base of your feet, or narrow base, whichever you prefer. And this ball is going to start moving around. But notice how my abdominals and my core are not moving a whole bunch. They're stabilizing, they're not really creating. Ah, I lost it. And it's such a beautiful thing to happen. The ball just slowly starts to drift away and you can't do a damn thing about it. That's a fantastic exercise. Then what we're gonna do is, now we're gonna up it. In, that, in the previous version, we were on a plank, strong on our elbows. Now we're gonna posture up on these push-up bars, take the straight out of our wrists, but now, all of this upper body um, is going to have to work together while the lower part of your body and your core is working together. This is a great synergistic exercise. So, position your push-up bars here, get your uh, stability ball on your foot, and push your other foot up there, and the balancing and the crazy wonkiness can start. We're here. Try to keep your back in the natural S bend. Don't let it sag. Whoa! If it sags, then you can lose the ball. And don't pop it up in the air either. Try to keep it nice and neutral. Oh. And with each arm and each leg muscle and, each, and your core, you're trying to stabilize that ball from moving away. And just like that, it's gone. So there you go, guys. A couple of moves you can do with a stability ball. I am not a fan of doing stability ball crunches and stuff like that. I don't like crunches. I don't do them. I don't care where you do them. Oh, I do them on a stability ball. It's a garbage move. Don't do crunches. Do other exercises that are going to strengthen your core and not hurt a part of your body. You know, what if I said, hey, I'm going to strengthen your hands, but I'm going to cut up your arms at the same time. You'd be like, why would, why would I do that? Same thing. Don't work your abdominals while wrecking your lower back. Work all those muscles together so that everything is stronger. Not one thing is stronger and the other thing is weaker. Give it a whirl, guys. Thanks for showing up.